Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, if you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. And if agreement doesn't work, change that agreement and create a new one. And use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up eight, 184, NASDAQ up 186, S&P's up 34, gold contract up $15.40, trading at 1769 an ounce. We have silver flat, $21.70 an ounce, light sweet crude up $2.56, $89.04 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down seven ticks, trading 112.09. The 30 down 12 at 123.24 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 1,800 ticks, 106.402. The euro is at 103. The yen is at 138.53. And the British pound is at 118 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're going to start with the S&P because the S&P isn't a confirmed ABC structure in the way up. We take a look at this, and what you're going to see out here is that, you know, we blew away the B point yesterday, took it out with volume. Uh, your price projection here is 411.73. Now, the cool thing about this, folks, meaning that we have an ABC structure inside the S&P is this. So, putting together the S&P, we're going to look at the NASDAQ, and it's all about the dollar. That's, that's, that's my, my point here, okay? So, it's like, you know, you have another 12 points, 13 points, uh, 12 points from here. Uh, no, 13 points to get to the ABCC structure finishing, okay? And these are always tricky. Not this. I just, I'm talking about the type of bounce that we get off the bottom. That, you know, I can really, I can understand in two seconds why people think it's going to pull back right away. My take is not. <laughs> and the reason being is that because we're in an ABC structure up inside the S&P 500. And, now watch this. Okay, so you can see where we are. We're 12, 13 points away, right? We're 13 points away. Okay. Then you go over to the dollar. And you take a look at the dollar. And, you know, bottom line is that this has been an extraordinary move. There's no doubt about that. You know, in, in six days, we've gone from 113 to 106. Well, it's not, 104 is game. 101 is game. So I, I think the way this is going to play out, if you're really looking to trade around this, is have patience, keep your longs, keep going, okay? Because this dollar here looks to me, you know, next stop is 104, you know? And at 2000 ticks a day, you can get there on them on Monday. If we break the 104, you are going to see an avalanche, man, because, you know, I've seen some currency moves, but this one is a really a fast one. There's no doubt about that. Now that, if that's what we get, what would end up happening is that at the end of this move, it would look, it will look like the market is going to never stop going up. So you will have the correlation like this. You'd have the correlation that you have ABC st structure finishing. You have the dollar going down. Now let's go over to the Dow Industrials because what this is all about right now, folks, is that the Dow Industrials and the small caps will lead. And the Dow is stronger, and I'll get the small caps next. So the Dow's leading, right? You can see the Dow's a little bit weaker today, right? But the Dow's the strongest indice. The Dow's going to go after this high of the 34,281. Now if that's the case... What you have coming up the rear, let's go look at the IWM next. Because what you have, the all, even when indices, one's weaker than the other folks, what I've found in the market is this, is that like right now the Dow has been much stronger than the uh, NASDAQ, the S&P, and the small caps, okay? But what tends to happen is that they all catch up with each other. That's my point. And I think the catch up is going to, be there, number one. And what I would do is, the rest of what I was talking about here, aim it off the dollar. Because when the dollar comes into that 101, if that's what we get, 
the market's going to look like it's never going to stop. And that's where you're going to take your money. Because it's a one-to-one -one all the way down. You know, yeah, it might go a little bit more, but that's where I suggest you take your money. We go to the IWM. We take a look at the IWM. And 20, it, we're, we're probably going to have an ABC. Yesterday, we pushed into it 38 million. We need 27 million. Uh, the IWM can do 27 million. We're at 21.3 right now. And bottom line, uh, on the IWM, money comes in at the end of the day all the time. The volume comes in, an explosive volume comes in at the end of the day. We take a look at the Qs. What we have with the Qs is this. The Qs are going after a, a B point, but it's not an ABC up. So the B point is 284.60. We needed volume of 59 million, and you're going to have it. We have 50 right now. You're going to have it. But it's not an ABC up because what happened with the Qs is that that basically had a contraction that's too much. Now, that being said, technically, you can take the 283, and you can take that, you know, bottom, 254. Let's say, well, let's say, let's say 260. So 260, the reason I'm taking 260, when you get a spike like this, you can see that low is 261. This low over here is 260. So to be conservative, you take 260, you take the top of this, which is 84, which is, what, 24, and then you'll turn around and you say, okay, that's 310, right? And the 311 is right up at the swing point also. So I expect that's what you're going to see up at those levels. If we go over to the bond market, we take a look at bonds, notes and bonds. What you're going to have with the note and bond market is that we went higher yesterday with good volume. Uh, it's closed today. Bond market's closed today. I suspect the bond market, guess what? This thing is going to do a counter trend bounce. It has been doing a counter trend bounce. It will continue to do a counter trend bounce. And in the bond market, just a dead cat bounce on the 10 year is 113, it's called it 114. It's 113.31 and it's 32 ticks inside of, you know, one point. So I suspect we're gonna be there. And guess what, if it goes above it, where are you gonna go? You're gonna do a 50% retracement. So you put those babies together, you know, and ride it. That's, that's what I, you know, that's where it's at. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow's down 28. Nasdaq's up 166. S&P's up 31. We'll come right back.